One of the biggest issues that um, people have when they verify their domain name is um, that the domain name has been verified by another account or someone else owns it. So to give you an example, uh, let's ktgmkbg.com. So I'm going to put this domain name and you're going to get this error. So you're like all excited. You come in, you're going to verify domain name. All of a sudden this error comes up. The domain has already been verified by another business. You're like, crap, who do? Who? <laughs> uh, we'll get to the who in a second. Um, but basically, yeah, that just means that another uh, account verified the domain name. Now I have access to this domain name, so it shows up in my list and I can see who owns it. It is another one of my business manager accounts that owns this domain name and you can see it's verified. But if that business manager account did not share the domain name with you, you're not going to see it under this list and you're going to have to go through some steps to figure out who owns the verification if you don't already know. If you know who does, then you need to ask them to share that domain um, name with you. And the way that they could do that is, um, let me see if there's one here that I own. Here we go. So um, the way they're going to have to do that is they're going to have to go, whoever owns the verification is going to have to go to their business manager account and click on, uh, they go to business settings, down to brand safety, down to domain names, click on the domain name they're trying to share and then assign partners. You're going to get your, your business manager ID and you're going to give it to your, to, to this whomever. And they're going to put that business manager ID into this field and, um, and they're going to put their business manager ID into this field and then hit next. You're going to get, uh, you're going to be able to go into your business manager account then and go back to brand safety domain names. You'll see that you'll, uh, sorry, you'll see that domain name in this list. Now, um, that's especially true if you're a mark, if you're, if you're a marketer and you have a client, honestly, I, do, I wouldn't, ver don't verify under your own business manager account, you're just going to be causing problems for the business owner, especially if you ever part ways, just if they haven't verified their domain name, go to their business manager account, like, like walk them through it, help them verify their domain name and let them own that verification. So it's all under one central location, one point of truth. Um, if by whatever reason you verified it, um, I would remove it from your list and go verify it in theirs. Um, so if, if your if your client verified the domain name, then, you know, just ask them to share, uh, that verification with you, uh, by giving them your business, uh, manager ID. You can get that business manager ID by scrolling down to uh, left-hand side, scroll all the way down to the bottom under business info. Um, you can copy that ID and, and give it to them. Uh, <clears throat> so going back to brand safety. So if you, if you're a business owner, and let's say that an agency that you worked with verified your domain name and you don't have contact with that agency anymore. Okay. <laughs> You're going to have to contact that agency, ask them to remove it and just verify it under your own business manager account. Okay. Um, if you've lost touch with the agency or you have no idea who has the verification, whether you're a marketer, business owner, it doesn't matter. Um, first, if, if you do know who it is and you've lost touch with them, there's like nothing you can do. Because, I mean, like in the set terms of getting them to, to do it the easy way, it's going to be very difficult. There is an option. It's not the easiest and, and quickest option, but it is your best option. I'll go through that in a second. Um, if you can get a hold of them, please do just make sure they remove that verification and you verify under your account. Uh, if you, um, if you're unsure of who it is, then some of the steps that you can take to figure out who may own this first things first, what happens if you don't own some of your assets? A lot of people run into that problem more than, than they should. I think it's just because when they first started their company or anything, anything is kind of exciting. You don't really think about consolidating everything into one. And so then things just kind of get dispersed everywhere and different people do different things. And then it just becomes really difficult when, when you have to do things like this and, and verify and pixels and all that, um, it becomes difficult to run your ads, uh, especially if those people are no longer with the company. So, um, something 
if, if you're struggling with figuring out who owns the business manager account um, that may own a lot of your assets, I really like to just trace back and, and take a look at, okay, who owns my Facebook business page? Let's start with that. So what I'll do is I'll go to my page and you'll want to go to settings on your page and click on page roles and you will see there who owns the page. It says page owner. You're going to see um, here it's black card marketing. I mean, I own this business manager account. So, you know, you can always take a look at the ID. So a lot of times, you know, if you have your own business manager account, I found that whomever originally created the first one that owns everything may have the same exact name on their business manager account. So you're just like, oh, but I own it. Double check. So if this ID 738 does not match your ID here. So if you go to business info, 738, you see they match. This is the right business manager account that owns it. But let's say there's a mismatch, then you do not own that page. Somebody else with the same name as yours, like business manager account name as yours, um, owns that, that page. So you're going to have to figure out, okay, who created this um, that owns that? Um, you can also go to ad accounts, click on your ad account and see who owns that ad account. You can see a different account owns it. Um, and kind of work, work in that way. Like, okay, who owns this? Who owns this? Who owns this? And try and figure out, okay, uh, mm, I know a guy that did this thing. He might own it. You know, he originally did this. He might own it. And try and just consolidate everything in, into one account, okay? That is going to be the best thing for you to do. In order for anyone to have verified this domain name, they would have either added a meta tag, meta tag in the back end of your site, um, or they would have gone into your server and uploaded a, a file, or they would have gone into your registrar, wherever you purchased your domain name, and they would have added what's called a, you know, DNS record, a TXT DNS record. So just think back for a second, who did I give access to the back end of my site? Who have I given access to my registrar for my domain name? Um, or who have I given access to my server? So one of the things you can do is um, you can check and see if you go to your website and you right click anywhere and you open view page source, you can just like hit control F on your keyboard. I think oh, Mac, I am not a Mac person or user. I think it's like command or something. Is it command F maybe? <laughs> um, and then just type in Facebook and see if you see that meta tag anywhere. And just hit enter, enter. I'm not seeing it absolutely anywhere. Not seeing it. I'm like basically going through every, oh, hold on. I know I didn't add it, but I'm just trying to like, you know, show you guys. I'm not seeing it. I know I didn't add it, so I'm not going to go through all 31. Um, that was like the long way, just typing in Facebook. You could also... Uh, let's hear, um, uh, what's that other domain name that I have? I don't think I verified this one yet. So let's see. Okay. So like, this is the meta, um, the meta tag, this is going to be unique to everyone. So you'll want to just like copy, we can do is just like copy it. It's not a different domain name or something, copy it, or, you know, you can use this too. From the video and I'm just gonna remove that last piece and then you can literally copy this part and um, search for it in your source code I didn't add it so I know it's not there but uh, anyway so that's one way so you could find out if, if somebody added it by going to the back end of your site by doing that if there's an easier way let me know but that's that's the way that I know um, the other way that um, you can do this uh, really like you'd, you'd have to check and see if you have access to your server, check and see if somebody uploaded um, a file to your server. Let's say it's the Facebook file. Um, it'll look like this. 
you can see here in the top right, there's like a string of, um, of code. If, if you see something that sort of looks like that, it might be that. Um, and then DNS, you can go into your registrar if it's like GoDaddy or wherever it is you purchase your domain name and then check the DNS records and see if you see a Facebook record. If you don't know any of those, um, just, you know, again, think about it. Who have you given access to the backend of your site? Who have you given access to your registrar, etc.? And really just check with all of those people to see who owns this um, domain verification. Again, if anybody has an easier way to find out, I would love to know. Uh, so that's kind of what we've done with some clients that, that are unsure. Um, the only other thing is if you really can't figure it out, you're going to have to um, get in touch with Facebook and see what they can do to help. If you, a lot of times, like if you don't own some of the assets, like, another agency owns it and you can't get a hold of them. They're not transferring it over for whatever reason. Or, you know, you had an employee that set everything up, your Facebook page, everything, and you can't um, get them to, to transfer ownership to you. Then what you can do is put in a ownership um, transfer request. They have a name for it. Uh, it's called, it's called a Facebook ownership request. And you do that to Facebook, you put in a Facebook ownership request, and then um, they're gonna ask you to submit a bunch of documents to them. Um, things like your ID, um, a letter stating what happened, why, if you're the owner or not, proof you're the owner, you're gonna have to do a letter with like with your signature and um, you know, last four digits of the credit card of your of your ad account and expiration date and like just, just a bunch of stuff. So that process they say it takes like up to 48 hours. I've never ever gone through that process with a client where it's taken 48 hours or less. Like, I think the minimum it's ever taken is like two weeks. There's clients where it's like, literally we've been waiting for two months and still, so it's not the funnest process and it can be lengthy and you do have to kind of stay on top of them. And it could be hard for you to get a hold of Facebook to begin with. Cause a lot of people don't, don't have access to that support. But that is the only other way to gain um, access and ownership of your assets if somebody else owns it. So my recommendation always to a client is do everything in your power to consolidate all of your assets from Facebook into one account. Do not let a, uh, an agency own your assets or anyone else own your assets. Frankly, I think the business owner or someone you feel is going to be in the business for a very long time should own those assets and that business manager account. Um, anyway, so that's, that's pretty much what you're going to want to do. Um, if you run into that problem where it says that another, another business owns your, your domain verification, uh, the, another thing you can do is get another domain name, verify that, um, and, and, you know, build your landing pages on a different domain name. So that may not be the solution for everybody though, because, you know, you have your business, you have a domain name and, and what you what you're trying to do um, um, with your domain name has to be done in, with your brand, right? Uh, and another thing that we've done is we've uh, created subdomains and we've verified subdomains, but we've you know we've we've put landing pages and stuff for advertising on the subdomains as well. So there's a few options. They're not all the best options, but the best option is to get whomever to remove it and just own your stuff. Okay, I really press this. Always own your assets. All right.